I can't be sitting here. It seems you are, Mrs. Winterton. Is it so terrible a fate? Good gracious, it's you. Good evening, Mr. Van Ryn. I hoped we'd meet again, but I never thought it would be like this. Life is full of surprises. I'm sorry if you're disappointed to find yourself next to me. It's not that exactly, but I was told my place was... <sighs> oh, never mind. We're here now. We are. And you have till the next course to describe your ascension. How did you do it? I long to hear. In a way, it's a relief to be with someone who knows my whole story. But first, is my husband all right? Who are we looking at? My husband, Mr. Winterton. Uh, this is Miss Maud Beaton. Mrs. Winterton, Mr. Winterton, is seated down there. Next to Lily Langtree, the actress. I met her when I was in London. She's bound to know the Duke. She had a long romance with the Prince of Wales. I met her when the Duke entertained us at Sidmouth Castle. How do you two know each other? We used to be neighbors, in a way. Mm. Mm. Is something the matter? <laughs> it's the way the Americans lay a table. I can't get used to it. Does that make me sound provincial? <laughs> I'm sorry they didn't get it right. If I were hosting the dinner, I can promise you I would. Is that an invitation, Mrs. Russell? Oh, let's see how tonight goes. <laughs> You have a house in Newport, don't you? I'm supposed to be visiting there to stay with the Wintertons. You don't sound very enthusiastic. To be honest, I don't know how I got roped into it. But I would like to see the town. I've heard so much about the place. Then why not come and stay with us instead? We have two children, not much younger than you. If only I could. Of course you can. The Wintertons won't mind. I'll give a dinner and ask them. They won't be offended. They'll probably be relieved. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Mm. <laughs>